There's a lot of tension here in the capital. Overnight, they intercepted several waves of Iranian Shahid drones. There was just another air raid siren here in the capital before we came on air with you. And people here know that uh, continued attacks is a very real possibility. And people are taking measures. Uh, and that's already uh, pushed people to try and uh, basically contribute to the public effort of conserving electricity. But it's not working because uh, the uh, government has now cut off electricity basically uh, according to a schedule and rotation. But some people don't have electricity for four hours a day here in the capital. There are other cities and towns across the country that are completely cut off from electricity. Some of them even water. So uh, th there's a lot of tense uh, atmosphere here in the capital and all around the country for all of these reasons. And all the while, attacks continue and the Ukrainian forces are saying that people need to bunker down and get ready for a long winter. And on the Kherson front, uh, the Ukrainian armed forces have been making progress, as Liz reported, uh, but there, this is just the beginning of winter and the Ukrainian officials are saying it's going to be a long one. Well, 40 percent of the Ukraine's energy infrastructure uh, was damaged in a very short amount of time over the last two weeks, uh, and that's left Ukrainians in a very difficult position. Uh, whether they're Ukrainians who are in places that were liberated from uh, occupying Russian forces, uh, or if it's people living in big cities like Kiev uh, or uh, Dnipro or other places like Chidoma that's completely cut off from electricity and water. Uh, over the last six months, uh, the Ukrainian uh, officials have been trying to rebuild uh, what was destroyed in the initial assault in February and March, uh, but even those people, uh, uh, they are struggling to prepare for uh, what they're expecting is to be a very cold and long winter, and that's exactly what we saw just about an hour north of uh, Kiev yesterday. Well, Russian attacks uh, caused a lot of damage to Ukrainian infrastructure in a very short period of time. Uh, in, a, in a span of about 10 days, they managed to damage 40% of Ukraine's uh, electricity infrastructure. Uh, now, that's having a lot of impact on individual lives and community lives. There are some cities and towns that are completely cut off from electricity and water. Uh, in some towns where electricity was restored, uh, that uh, restored electricity is now being interrupted because of the these recent attacks by Russia on Ukrainian critical infrastructure. And that's making it even more difficult for Ukrainians to prepare for a very long winter. Now, the cold weather has already started, uh, but uh, there's more cold weather to come. And as people return to their homes in places that Russian forces have pulled out of, uh, they're finding that it's going to take a lot of resources to prepare for the next several months of winter. And this is exactly what we saw in uh, north of Kiev just yesterday. Ukrainian armed forces are continuing with this uh, weeks-long counteroffensive, and now it seems like they've reached a kind of uh, very difficult situation in the fight because they're trying to cross the Dnieper River. Uh, they're trying to target Russian forces that have actually relocated their positions uh, from the left, ba from the right bank to the left bank of the river, and they're entrenched. And uh, Ukrainian forces are expecting this to go on for several weeks and possibly uh, at least one or two more months, uh, trying to retake this Kherson. Uh, province in south central Ukraine. This is a very important battle for both Ukraine and Russia. Uh, this is the only place uh, that Russia was able to uh, completely control, including the regional capital, the actual city of Kherson, uh, the entire time that it's uh, occupied Ukrainian territory since February. So if Ukrainian forces successfully dislodge Russian troops and push them back, some U.S. Uh, intelligence is saying that Ukrainian forces could push them back as far as Crimea. Uh, but even before Crimea, if they can push Russian forces out of Kherson and retake this region, uh, this will be great news for tens of thousands of people and for the Ukrainian military, which has been fighting on multiple fronts. But for now, Kherson uh, seems to be the main one where uh, all of the energy and resources of both the Russians and the Ukrainians are being spent.